first time through the eyes of someone who's never seen this before, your impressions of ITB? So far, I think it's very impressive. I like the fact that there is quite a lot of um, information, uh, quite a lot of networking um, takes place here, and it's a very large space that offers Caribbean countries, that offers Tobago and Trinidad the opportunity to showcase and highlight um, their destination. And so for me, um, it's my first time as the Secretary in the Division of Tourism and Transportation, Tobago House of Assembly, and I'm able to learn and to understand what is required to move all product and the tourism in Tobago forward. You're planning to come to ITB, you've never been here before, so what are the expectations? Well my expectations are one, to understand what is required to move the product and the tourism in Tobago forward. Two, um, to network with the different um, persons who are in the promotion of the product. Um, the tour guides, to meet with different policymakers, get an understanding of you know, what is happening in their particular territories, and most importantly, to have uh, an international view of where Tobago's tourism is, and more so the reputation that Tobago has in the international arena. And of course, to provide support to the Division of Tourism and the staff of the Division of Tourism and Transportation and to the Trinidad and Tobago team. And are you realizing some of these? Of course I am. I would have had quite a number of different meetings with different um, representatives from British Airways, from Kono Apollo, and quite a number of different um, organizations and entities. They have been very informative. Those meetings have been very informative. And also the support is, is here for the different um, teams as well as members of staff of the division. You represent Trinidad and Tobago as a country, so you've got teams from both islands here at all, but how do you, as the Secretary of Tourism for Tobago, differentiate yourself from the main island Trinidad uh, when you meet the people with whom you're meeting? Well, we are basically in the leisure market. Um, Trinidad focuses mainly on conference tourism, and so we are here to sell romance and the sport tourism packages or, or Tobago as a destination focusing on those two uh, niche areas. So we have been doing quite a lot of different talking with um, different marketing reps trying to promote um, our particular niche while Trinidad has been focusing mainly on conference tourism and trying to get different um, organization, different businesses to hold or host conferences in their particular island. And of course, you know, we have different um, cultural backgrounds, we have different historical experiences, and so we use that to differentiate Tobago. Yesterday at the news briefing that you, you had quite a few um, journalists there, you talked a lot about different areas um, or, or for Tobago and one of those that came up was you've got a jazz experience that's, that's coming up quite soon in April and everyone talks about this goat racing thing that is really still most amazing to people, isn't it? It is. Um, yes, we have the Jazz Festival and we will have as our headliner Diane Warwick as well as Indy Ari and um, Fiona. And that um, is well advertised throughout the Caribbean region as well as on the international circuit. And we're really hoping that people will come to not only witness music but the culture, to witness the food and more so to be a part of the historical experiences um, of Tobago. We also have taken place in the East as well, or crab and um, goat race. And I'm sure it is something that is not well um, seen or experienced in the international market. And it is well subscribed by international tourists as well. And so all I can do at this point in time is to invite you, the audience, whoever is looking to come to Tobago and to experience such a unique activity and unique culture. You've been hit by a number of issues and challenges uh, in terms of Tobago's tourism. First of all, airlift and, and the news that, that Virgin was uh, going to be cutting service to Tobago. How do you deal with this and compensate for it? Well, we have been looking at, an, at a number of different options. As a matter of fact, we are in the process of finalizing the agreement with Virgin Atlantic for the winter period. And so we had a meeting early and, and everything on that is basically confirmed, um, except that we have to do the formalization of that agreement. Um, with regards to the summer period, there are other airlifts coming into Tobago. 
and so um, and also there is um, excess capacity. So we are looking at seeing how we can market more in the European market to fill that excess capacity as well as we are having discussions with the Minister of Tourism with a view to having um, maybe Caribbean airline um, fill that particular niche from Barbados uh, to Tobago so that it will provide a sort of, of a link to Virgin Atlantic who brings in um, passengers from um, Gatwick and also from Manchester. So there are some options um, that are being discussed at this point in time to address this summer, um, to, to address the summer period. By the Minister of Tourism, you mean the Minister from Trinidad? Minister of Tourism, Trinidad and Tobago. How are these talks going? These talks are going very, very fruitful. On Tuesday the 12th of March, we meet to further finalize the discussions and to come up with costs and who will pay for those, um, for those costs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time.